Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again from the O-Ray team with an overview of the BK-404 4 input, 4 output, 8K HDMI matrix. This product was engineered to make it incredibly easy for you to connect four ultra high definition HDMI media devices to four ultra high definition monitors at the same time while providing complete control over which of those media streams is being displayed on each one of the monitors at any given time by simply tapping a button on the front of the unit, using the infrared remote control, by connecting it to your local network and opening a web browser or through a direct RS-232 connection to a local computer. The product fully supports 8K ultra high definition media content and is both HDMI 2.1 as well as HDCP 2.3 compliant, which means it's going to work perfectly fine with all of your modern media gear. The product also provides individual audio extraction for all four of the outputs that allows you to pass the audio from that media stream along through an analog or a digital connection to a soundbar or home stereo for that full theater experience. Now, as part of this overview, I'd like to start with a quick unboxing just to show you everything that's included with the kit, and then I'll take a closer look at the unit and explain the connections and indicators so you understand how to use it. I'll list the features and functions the product provides, and then I'll come back and do a short demonstration to show you just how easy this product will be to use with your own equipment. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you first open up the box, you'll find the BK404. You'll find a single 24 volt, 2.7 amp DC power supply with a cord you can use to plug it into the wall. So plug this into the wall. The other end of the cable has a barrel connection on it with a locking collar, which plugs directly into the back of the unit and provides all the power you'll need for operation. You'll also find an infrared extender kit. If you decide to mount this inside of a cabinet, you can locate this outside the cabinet so you can still use the infrared remote control. You'll find a connection kit for that RS-232 connection if you decide to control this from a local computer. You'll find a bracketing kit you can use to mount this into a rack. You'll also find some RS-232 and audio connections that you can use if you decide to pass analog audio along to your soundbar. Included is also an infrared remote control. That's a nice feature to be able to control this from a distance away. And then finally, a full instruction manual is also included that lists connection diagrams, specifications, and a lot of other really good information about the product that you'll need to understand in order to use it correctly. Now, if you stay tuned next, I'll take a closer look at the unit, I'll list the features and functions, and then I'll come back and do that demonstration. The BK404 features a full metal enclosure, which makes it incredibly durable and the perfect choice for both residential and commercial installations. On the right-hand side of the cabinet, you'll find ventilation slots, and on the left-hand side, you'll find two cooling fans that draw air through the cabinet to keep the electronics inside at a very comfortable temperature. You'll also find mounting holes on both sides that can be used with the included bracketing kit to mount this into a video rack. On the front of the unit, starting on the left, you'll find a digital display that provides all the information you'll need to understand about the current status of the product. It also helps you walk through the configuration menus and confirm your choices. On the right-hand side of that display is a power LED. The minute you add power to the unit and turn it on, it actually starts an internal power on self-test where it checks the electronics, and once it passes that test, it'll light that LED, letting you know the model's ready to use. Below that is an infrared receiver window, and that's used in conjunction with the remote control. When you set this up, you want to make sure that window is visible if you're using the remote control. And if you mount this inside of a video rack, you can use the infrared extender kit to actually continue to use that remote. To the right of that, you'll find four buttons, one, two, three, and four labeled output, and four buttons labeled one, two, three, and four for input. These control which of the outputs is displaying which of the inputs at any given time, and you can tap these buttons to make those choices. To the right of that, you'll find a menu button on the top left. That takes you into the configuration menu, and an enter button below it will enter the choice you've made. An up and down button allow you to step through the different choices for each of the menu options. To the right of that is a power button. You can use that to turn the unit on and off by simply tapping it. And below that is a lock button. If you tap that, all of the buttons become inactive. So it's a good way to protect this from having changes made that you didn't intend. So when you finally set it up the way you like it, hit that lock button. And then if anybody brushes the buttons, it won't affect the setup. On the bottom of the unit, you'll find four rubber feet that help to protect the surface you set it down on and also keep it from sliding around during operation. On the rear of the units where you'll make all your connections, starting on the left, you'll find four inputs. These are HDMI ports that connect to the media devices that you'd like to share across your four outputs. To the right of those, 
are four output connections, again, full-sized HDMI ports. These connect to the monitors where you'd like to display the content from your input devices. You'll also notice for each output, there are two audio connections above it. A digital connection, which is an optical, and a left and right analog connection. Both of these are active at the same time. This product provides audio extraction capabilities where it can separate the audio from the media being displayed on output one, two, three, and four, and then pass that audio through these connections along to a sound bar or home stereo for better quality audio. To the right of those are network connections. So you'll find a full LAN port right here. You can control this through a graphical user interface by connecting this to your local network and opening a browser. You can also connect this to a computer through this RS-232 connection and control it directly from that computer. To the right of that is an infrared extender port. Like I'd mentioned before, if you mount this inside of a cabinet, you'll need to use the infrared extender kit that's included with the product. You'll plug that in here and locate the receiver outside the cabinet. Here's the DC input port, and that's used with the included power supply. Plug that into a wall outlet, plug the barrel connection from it in here, and finger tighten the collar. And finally, there's a grounding stud right there if you need to ground this product. That's pretty much it for the BK404. The O-Ray BK-404 is compatible with all HDMI media devices, including media players like Apple TV, streaming devices, digital projectors, computer systems, and game consoles. The product's features include full support of 8K ultra high definition media content, it provides four dedicated inputs and four dedicated outputs for connection to your media gear. It is both HDMI 2.1 as well as HDCP 2.3 compliant. You can control your selections through the buttons on the front of the unit, the graphical user interface, or the included infrared remote control. The product also provides individual audio extraction for each of the outputs. Now I'll show you just how easy it'll be to use this product with your own equipment. And for this demonstration, over here I've set up four different media devices. Three of them are small media players that are each displaying a different image just to make it easy to tell them apart. And the fourth is a mini PC because I wanted to show you that you can easily mix and match different resolution products on the matrix at the same time. Over here I've set up four monitors as my output displays, and this is where I'd like to enjoy the content from my four input devices. In front of me I have the BK404. Now the first set of connections I'll make are from my media devices to the unit, and I've already connected up four high-speed HDMI cables to the players, and I'll plug the other end of those cables into input number one, number two, number three, and finally number four. And once I've made those connections, I'm ready to connect up my output devices. I have four more cables connected to the monitors, and I'll plug those into the four output ports on the back of the unit. And again, it's important to use high quality cables for these connections to ensure you get the best possible picture on the output. Okay, now that those are plugged in, we can add power. I've already plugged the power supply in. The other end of that cable has a barrel connection on it, which plugs directly into the DC input port in the back of the unit. And the minute I plug this in, the unit's going to start that internal power on self-test where it's checking the electronics. It's also going to check the resolution of my input devices and the resolution of my output devices to make whatever adjustments are needed inside the unit to give you the best possible picture. So I'll plug this in. You'll hear the fans come on. And in a couple of seconds, you'll hear a beep. And that means the unit has passed the power on self-test and it should start passing the video to the output devices. Any second now, you'll hear that beep. There you go. That means the unit has passed the power on self-test. It's made the adjustments for the resolution. And there you go. Those are the four inputs that are over here being displayed on the four output devices. Now, the nice thing about a matrix is that I can send the same input to the same output, or I can send a single input to all four outputs at the same time, and I can certainly mix and match as much as I need to get the right setup. And to show you just how easy that is, with the remote control, let me push the first button to move that first display to the next input. It takes a second to make the adjustment for resolution because remember, I said these are different resolution inputs. There you go. Here comes the third one. And again, you can control it from the infrared remote. You can control it from the buttons on the front. You can actually connect it to your network and open up a web browser and control it through a graphical user interface. Or you can even make a direct RS-232 connection to a local computer to control it. There's the third one. Here comes the fourth one. So again, the flexibility that a matrix like this provides, 
allows you to choose which input goes to which output at any given time. And again, you can send the same to all four or mix and match as you need to. And it really is just that easy to get it working. I hope you found this overview of the O-Ray BK-404 4 input, 4 output, 8K HDMI matrix helpful. This product makes it really easy for you to connect four ultra high definition HDMI media devices like a game console, a computer, or streaming media player to four ultra high definition monitors at the same time and it provides complete control over which of those inputs is being displayed on each one of the outputs by simply tapping a button on the front, using the remote control from the comfort of your couch, or by connecting it to your local network and opening a web browser or through a direct RS-232 connection to a local computer. The product fully supports 8K ultra high definition media content and is both HDMI 2.1 as well as HDCP 2.3 compliant, which means it'll work with your older equipment and your newer equipment. And the fact that it also provides audio extraction capabilities for each individual channel means you can pass that audio along to a sound bar or a home stereo through an analog or digital connection for that full theater experience. Everything you need to get started is included with the kit, and with a few simple connections, you can be up and running in no time. So until next time, thanks again for watching.